What is going on, Ben Nation? I hope everybody is having a great morning. I really hope that you're having a great time, a good morning. I hope that we prosper, that we have this fantastic uh, bull run coming. There's you know some concerns in the market, but I mean, listen, we're at $43,000 Bitcoin or, or thereabout, uh, 2300 Ethereum. You know, we're in a good place overall. How does that apply to Ben Coin? Well, uh, the ETH pairing does certainly help, uh, but I got to be honest with you, guys, we, and now, not just we, not just Ben anymore, they're coming for you, they're after you, but somebody like Ben, somebody like me, we're just kind of in the way, and if you haven't seen, and you haven't paid attention, then uh, you've missed out, because as you know, uh, Ben quit his youtube channel for live streaming just for live streaming but the the media has come after ben and started to make uh, posts about it. you've seen it on coindesk you've seen it on uh different places and and that what did that do that led the folks at the hit networks the discover up crypto the call it what you will uh to start attacking ben with renewed vigor and now they're coming after me. So, and it's very weird because um, I assume that the gentlemen at Hit Networks are, and look, I am a supporter of the community. I believe that you should have the freedom to do whatever it is that you want to do, right? But um, I, I, I find it weird that you want to share your personal collection of pictures online. Uh, and then you want to attack me uh, and, and accuse me of, it, it's weird. It, it's just very weird. Now, what does this mean? Well, in the attention-based economy that we live in, that's great for Ben Armstrong. And in fact, it's in some way great for me. Uh, but it causes a run on the Ben coin price that will make for an epic reversal. And I've seen things that tell me that we are probably going to have an epic reversal. We're going to have a fantastic run. Uh, I remain committed and I believe that this project is going to the moon and the stars therein. And it's going to be a very interesting time. It's going to be a very interesting run. Uh, can I promise you that we're going to go to the billions? No. Uh, can Ben actually promise that? No. But he made a commitment to you to be a top 100 crypto by the end of next year. And I think that's a reasonable time for the accomplishment. And then we should recognize that as people start to find their way back into cryptocurrency, and let's face facts, right now we are at the hands of derivatives traders and futures traders who are attacking cryptocurrency and liquidating people through futures trading. The amount of trading that's going on very, very high in that market, very, very low in traditional um, in investment markets. Now, at the same time, there are a lot of wallets being created. So there are a lot of investors who are out here creating new Bitcoin wallets with nothing in them yet, looking to accumulate, looking to take a shot. And we've got ETFs out here trying to do it. What does this all mean for Bitcoin? It means a lot for Bitcoin. I'm going to show you some price action. I'm going to show you where we are. Uh, you can see there was uh, another sell-off when Ben uh, quit his channel or at least quit his live streams, which by the way, um, you know, maybe we should let Ben know that we appreciate him and, and see what we can do, uh, to, to maybe get him to change his mind. You know, um, I, I don't know what that looks like, but here's what I know. I'm going to take you through a few of these things here and then you tell me what you think. And I hope that's fair enough. So before we do this and before we unpack all of this, if you would, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content and you know we'll see how this plays out and what goes on okay so we got a chart up let's see the price action what are we doing now uh, again big sell-off we've had a, a tiny amount of buyback on this little run here uh ran up here we got mostly bought back off of this last little dip uh, the market corrected overnight we got another move back to the upside starting to look like on these lower time frames, maybe a tiny bit of reversal could be underway. So um, 
and, and to be fair, other than this really big uh, rip right here, you're looking at basically a descending sort of channel playing out. And, you know, that tends to, to move back towards the upside. And you know, if we recover this position, we can recover this sort of gap that, that formed right here, then nobody's going to be happy by, about that, by the way. But it will be the start of, you know, some of this recovery. And uh, I think most people will start to say, hey, you know, this feels a little bit better. And look, next week, there's something going on that I do think will uh, not only fill that gap, but probably improve that ratio just a little bit. But I can't say anything about it for the moment. Uh, that's going to be for Ben to do. And in a pre-recorded video, I'm sure Ben's going to do that. So uh, this is what this all looks like. So as far as news goes, uh, as as you were told yesterday or as we were all informed yesterday, uh, Rebel is no, is no longer the acting CTO. Uh, replacement's going to be found as soon as Ben and Cassie get back from their um, Cassie's father has passed away. Uh, they are in Idaho right now and, uh, you know, wishing them, wishing them very well and hoping for the best there. Uh, it's very difficult when anybody loses someone in, in their family. So, um, condolences to Cassie and Ben and over here on the broader market, I digress. Uh, you can see basically the same thing. We're just kind of reversing. You see the, the 20 MA has started to reverse. Uh, 20 MA crossing over the 50 is going to be a good short-term sign as a reversal of the direction. That, again, little price action moving up here, probably getting back into this range right here at 5. Uh, what we're looking for is at least to move up to 57 uh, into this range. Now, you had seen that this had kind of played out as we were minting higher highs. Everything was looking like it was about to break out. We, you know, we had a little bit of momentum. So, uh, you know, I think what happened with Ben probably diverted that momentum for the moment. But we still represent a, a, a channel here that we formed uh, this descending channel most most likely uh, will play, play out, break to the upside, and you know we'll start to gather our tools and figure out what it looks like. But if we were to say um, this is the impulse move right here, then you know we do have some upside. If we go back to the quote unquote seven eight six move, then from this impulse right here, then you're looking at a move back up to fifty seven fairly shortly. So. You know, I think that the recovery is certainly going to happen in short order, but we're all kind of uh, the brakes have been pumped, at least for the the, the day because of what's going on um, with personal life. But let's get on to what's really been going on here. And as, as most of you who follow me ha have known, I am suddenly under attack. Now, I put out uh, this Ben Armstrong lawsuit details and I went in detail with you about <clears throat> what that looks like, what is going on, how this all you know, fits together, what has been happening uh, on uh, for Ben. And of course, there are a lot of people that have watched this video and uh, they may support Ben, may not support Ben. But after doing this, this led to... Um, weird situations that started to happen. Uh, because if you remember famously, um, Nick DiMondi, you know, the hair, the hair person, the, the one with the, you know, Larry, um, Mo Curl, you know, Larry. So he comes out and does this. Like, this is a testament to who Hit Network is. This is a testament to what Discover Crypto is. Um uh, Nick DeMondi posts drive driving home from dinner last night and saw a Ben coin meetup. So uh, what he is implying here, and if you can't see the picture, it, it looks like a bunch of men all hanging out undressed together. Uh, I, I want to say so. Uh, and to be fair, uh, I think he's trying to use it as a pejorative and, uh, because he said Ben coin, it actually got traction, which you, I mean, you can look at his account and you can know that unless he's clout chasing Ben Armstrong and uh, doing that, then, you know, that's probably going to be the thing. And then we have Joshua, J Joshua, Jake, uh, who then says, yo, please crypto, please at least shut your blinds next time. 
And listen, um, I don't know if they bought ads. I don't know if they bought comments. I don't know if they bought views. I don't know if the reason that this got so many views was because they bought it. But I, I mean, of course, you guys remember what I had showed you previously uh, that they were buying views that they, you know, the, the reason that anybody paid attention to, to them anyway was because they were buying views. They were buying con, uh, they were buying comments that said like, you know, DZ is dressed so nice. I like his suspenders. Uh, he is very professional. And then the next one is the same comment only and says it shows professionalism. Uh, and then there's other comments on there that say that it would be wonderful if somebody from Discover, anybody who wanted to advertise on Discover Crypto would be very smart and very wise in the cryptocurrency realm. And then they have comments about Vumio. Vumio has nothing to do with their videos, but for some reason, that's a hot button for them. So they put in Vumio. Um, absolutely wild. Nonetheless, so not only uh, do you have uh, Nick DeMondi sharing images from his personal collection, you have Joshua Jake out here now attacking me, probably because I revealed to you that these guys are buying views. They probably didn't want you to know that. They probably thought, you know, let's just not say anything. Let's, you know, let's just, let's just continue to do this. That way we can trick you, the viewer. We can trick you into uh, thinking that we actually are producing content that people watch, right? They want to trick you. Um, and then to be fair, and, and I'm not going to show it to you because we're not going to do this the whole time. But then after that, what we get is we get this, this wild, uh, this, this, this wild sort of scenario where, not only this, but then the people who follow them, both of them, or all three of them, I, I don't know, um, they're attacking me. And of course, they always attack Ben, but they're attacking me now uh, because I defend Ben Armstrong, because I uh, think these guys are a bunch of low rent dirt bags that, you know, uh, I mean, obviously, this guy's driving around with pictures of new dudes. Uh, which I don't judge. I mean, hey, you are who you are, and it is okay. Um, if you want to carry your giant rifle around and show people how big it is, and you know whatever it is that you do, then it's okay. Like you, you are, um, you know. Um, look, guys, that that hair don't grow on normals. You know what I mean? Uh, so it, it, if you want to do that and share those pictures and do things, yes, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's it's it's, it's X. It's it's X. You're you're able to share X rated content if you want, I guess. Um, and if you're 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 Joshua Jake, you're I mean, look, hey, um, you're able to compete in men's sports. So, you know, um, good luck to you, you know. So but that's what's going on here. So and what am I doing out here? I don't know, nothing. All I'm doing is uh, as you guys see, you, you guys, you guys associated with it, right? I, I, I post, are you Ben coin bullish? I post Ben videos. I support Ben Armstrong um, because I think it, it would be my opinion that these guys are a bunch of low down dirt bag criminals who are trying to steal a company from a man. And the reason that they are trying to steal it is because he was firing the people initially that were trying to steal from him. And you can like that or not like that, but that's exactly what happened. So where do we go from here, right? What what happens now? Well, um, here we are with Ben Armstrong. My daily crypto live stream has been my life. I'll miss you guys. Uh, maybe now it's time or maybe very shortly it's going to be the time where we really kind of dig in here and uh, can we get Ben back? Can we uh, show him that we really want him to be uh, you know, back in the live streams. Uh, you can see the comments here. I'm crushed, man. Uh, um, uh, as they recover from substance abuse and self-inflicted struggles, this hurts. Um, I've been with you since the last bull run. Um, I, I, I don't know what one has to do with the other, but I mean, the, the guy's a supporter of Ben Armstrong and wants to see him continue. Um, you have to come back, Ben. We need you here. You're a legend, Ben. Uh, pulling for you, Ben. Um, uh, no need to miss us. We're still here. You are still here. Support, support. And then you have lowbrow, you know, I want to say um, Demondi filth, you know, saying, did you snort your gains? Or, you know, um, just wild stuff here uh, to try to, ha, 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 ha. you paid attention to my comment. Ha, 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 ha. 
I got a follower or, you know, whatever it is that you're, you're doing here. So, um, you know, this is it. Uh, ben is under attack and I defend Ben. So now they're attacking me. The problem is um, not, they can't really do anything to me. Uh, you know, I'm, um, I'm a grown ass man and there's nothing that they say or do or have that I want or need. They, um, you know, I mean, hey, look, if I run uh, a chop shop that that puts comments on it on YouTube videos, then I'm sure they want to do business. You know, if I if I have an AI bot that makes random comments on on YouTube videos for them, then I'm sure they you know want um, they, they, I'm sure they want to 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 contact me or something like that. But I have time for that. I don't, I don't care about them. Um, I care about Ben. I think you do too. That's why you're watching the video. So. I think the best thing to do in this going forward is to recognize that they are attacking Ben. They're coming for you. Ben is in the way. I mean, that's basically, isn't that what Donald Trump said? They're coming for you. They want you to bow to them. They, they want you to watch their content. They don't want you to watch Ben's content. They want you to watch what they want you to watch. Because until Ben left the channel, they owned your eyes. And when you broke free, as Ben got out, uh, when you broke free, then you took away their income stream, their revenue. Stake doesn't want anything to do with them. Real uh, sponsors don't want anything to do with them. So now they lash out. Now they lash out. All I do is, all I do is me. You notice nobody comes on my channel. You notice I don't have a lot of people on here. I don't do a lot with other people. Uh, the only person in the influence realm that I, I really um, associate with, there's maybe three I stay in my lane, do my content. I appreciate you. And I hope that you appreciate me and that we have a relationship like that. Right. And the one thing that I do believe in is that Ben Armstrong had his company stolen from him by a bunch of seedy little crooks. And I want to support him in getting that back. The end. After that, I support Ben Coin because Ben is involved in it. And I think that Ben, as an influence person will probably do a great job and you know make this thing sort of happen and by the way if my camera is crooked it's because something happened and and my camera went all out of whack my my whole thing just the the, the whole studio by the way just gone in, in a heartbeat like it's i don't know i don't know i have no idea what, what happened but um it wasn't hacked anymore but i support ben i support ben coin and i support you in the community and I will defend that uh, to the last breath, if you will, because I think it's important. And I think that somebody has to be out here, uh, quote unquote, fighting the good fight and talking about what is going on, showing you guys what uh, Ben Armstrong is going through and what they are putting him through in their wants and attacks. Remember, these are the same people that went to his house. Uh, this is These are the same people who... Uh, remember his assistant, uh, the five ash person went to his house, stole items from his house, allegedly, and took them to the office so that it looked like he was a guilty party in an office environment. Wild stuff, wild, wild stuff. Okay. We have to be specific about that. And not only that, you know, Ben's estranged wife verified that for you, that that's what they did verified that they threatened his life, verified all of these things. So, you know, what do we do now? Well, what we do now is we, uh, as Ben Nation, support Ben Armstrong, support Ben Coin, and allow the opportunity for these things to cook, uh, if you will. Allow uh, a little bit more time to make the next move. I've seen the next move I'm super excited about it. I think it's I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, again, there's no you can't promise any you can't promise any money. But here's the thing: million dollar company like Stake.com believes in Ben. A million dollar company like Stake.com has no faith in Discover Crypto. Uh, Bybit, Ben, not Discover. Um, Bitget, Ben, not Discover Crypto. Um, sponsors, reach out. Uh, Ben's got a host of sponsors. Discover Crypto. I, I believe yesterday, I want to say yesterday or the day before, they're like, we just got our second sponsor. Nobody cares about them. And that's infuriating them. 
and it's leading them to be continue attacks. Uh, remember, these are the people that stole from Ben and they're still trying to steal from him. So, you know, we got to work through this as Ben Nation and we got to figure this out. And then we got to moon this project and that's going to be the team. They're they're going to come through with the utilities that will moon the project. Until then, our jobs, in so much as we have jobs, if you will, is to just hold on tight and give it an opportunity to cook, if you will, and grow and become something more. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And remember, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. My name is Bleaves, and I will defend this entire situation to my last breath because I think they're crooks. But that's just me. You, I don't know what you think, but that's my time. And we're going to talk to you guys again very, very soon. And we're not done with this. Ben Nation, we are going to moon this project.